Welcome to Family Product Reviews. If you are new here support us by subscribing. Today we will be reviewing the White Noise Sound Machine Portable Sleep Therapy for Home, Office, Baby Travel 6 Relaxing Soothing Nature Sounds, Battery, or Adapter Charging Options, Auto Off Timer Homatic Sound Spa. The one other superior feature of the Conair is the on-off button, conveniently located right on top. Descriptions come to mind in the middle of sleepless nights, like Jackhammer, an entire platoon of drunken marines, the sound effects from Sea Hunt, or an oral equivalent of waterboarding, there may be better, or worse out there, but this one works for me, and it is the only thing that has provided a smidgen of relief. It can even provide an equal counterpoint to the sound of snoring when Hess having an off night but only the sound of an SST taking off could mask the noise of a peak performance. The rain setting sounds off, more like someone urinating than rain, at least to me. It's pretty hard to find a noticeable loop in any of the sound effects as in a blip, or clip where you can tell it repeats. It's perfect for replicating a fan noise for when it's too cold for a fan to be running. Taking it apart, it has very small bits of solder that hold the volume circuits together. About all sounds, if you listen hard enough you can hear the repetition in the sounds, but you cannot hear where the join is as it loops around. The volume control is nice, the timer feature is great, and it seems to help our daughter with falling asleep. This works really good, and the volume is good that you can raise, or lower it. Overall, you could do a lot worse for more money if all you need is a reliable, compact sound machine to help soothe you to sleep. One other note, it has a variable timer to automatically turn it off after several preset intervals. Our kids were having a hard time sleeping through the noises, and would wake up often. Not only does it have several settings rain, thunder, ocean, crickets, it is really loud. She seems to be a light sleeper so the consistent background noise is really helpful. They have a nice long cord, which is very convenient, and a nice big volume dial nice for sleepy people to handle. It works but it's not very versatile given that the only variability is fan speed, and varying event openings. The timer function is helpful if you know you want it to turn off within 30, or 60 minutes, etc. The sound spa is the perfect device for masking background noises, and creating ambient sounds that help you fall asleep. There are several different sounds to choose from, all of which are not annoying, but very subtle. The volume can be turned down low, but can also be turned up very loud. Only issue is the annoying on light that is so darn bright in a dark room. Also has a timer button if you want it to turn off after a certain amount of time. It's on all the time in her room at the if, and she seems to like it. But these lessen the irritation of softer noises, or even too much silence when you are trying to work, and want to increase concentration. Our 18-month-old knows that sound means it's time to go to sleep, and hell go turn it on. The sound is really great, it's lightweight for travel and it can run all night long without the timer set. The different sounds are all pretty good, too, except the brook, which you should only listen to if you have urinary retention. If you turn it up loud it's a little crackly, keeping it low mid, it sounds pretty good, has its own power supply, so this is easier to utilize than having batteries in the device. Related to this is the volume range, the range is too loud needs to be centered quite a bit lower. The problem is if you take four batteries, It makes the machine very heavy to pack in your luggage. You can turn it on so that it stays on all night, and then shut it off in the day, or you can put the timer on so it shuts off after an hour. However, the fan would be too cold in the winter, it was always in the way, and sometimes pieces would shift, or break, or things would get caught at the fan, and make rattling sounds. The volume dial, as opposed to volume buttons, allows for more delicate changes of volume but you do get some interference if you have your phone to close to it. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.